Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be applying the power rule to find three different indefinite integrals. And in all these problems, the very first thing you want to do is take the expression and rearrange it using exponents that are either rational or possibly negative. So for this first problem, we're going to rewrite this as the integral of 12 times x to the negative 3 power. And then we're going to apply the power rule. And the power rule says that we're going to take the exponent on x and we're going to add 1 to that power to get the brand new power and then divide by that same brand new power. So our 12 is a multiply constant and it's carried along. And then we're going to have x now raised to the negative 3 plus 1 power divided by negative 3 plus 1. And of course, don't forget your arbitrary constant, capital C. If we simplify this down, we're going to have 12 times x to the negative 2 divided by negative 2 plus c. And then our final answer is going to be negative 6 divided by x squared plus c. And again, keep in mind that we can always check our work by going through and taking the derivative and getting back to the original integrand with perhaps a little bit of simplification. All right, on our next problem, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take and rewrite it using an exponent that's appropriate. And the cube root of x is the same thing as x to the one-third power. And once again, we're going to keep our multiplied constant carrying along. We're going to have now adding 1 to the power. So we're going to have one-third plus 1 divided by one-third plus 1 down below plus a constant c. And that will be equal to... 8 times x now to the 4 thirds power divided by 4 thirds plus c. And then we can go ahead and multiply it by the reciprocal when we're dividing by a fraction. So we have the 8 already there times a 3 fourths. And we might as well rewrite that as a radical. That is going to be the cube root of x to the fourth plus c. And finally, simplifying down more. We've got 8 times 3, which is 24, divided by 4, which makes 6. We can also take out an x from the cube root of x to the fourth. And we're left with the cube root of x inside of our radical. And of course, that is plus a constant c. So that right there is our indefinite integral or antiderivative. For the last problem, we want to go through and once again apply our power rule. So this is going to be the integral of x to the negative one-half power. Once again, we're going to add 1 to the exponent. So it's going to be x to the negative one-half plus 1 divided by negative one-half plus 1 plus c. So that's x to the one-half divided by one-half plus c. And then finally, dividing by a half is the same thing as multiplying by 2. x to the 1 half we know is the square root of x. And we have our arbitrary constant plus c. So there's three different applications of the power rule for finding indefinite integrals. And again, going back, we have problem number one. 2 and 3 here. And again, all of these answers are checkable by going through and finding the derivative and simplifying it down and arriving at the original integrand in our expression.